I will be doing a full guide on how to host your own H3 multiplayer server, since it seems like some people are having issues with this, and that's understandable. This video will be split into three sections, the first showing you how to use H3MP, and the other two explaining how to port forward or use Hamachi to host your own server. I will make sure to leave timestamps in the description and YouTube chapters so you can skip ahead to whatever section you may need. First thing you're going to need to do is download R2 Mod Manager. The link will be in the description, but you can get it from thunderstore.io. And once you've downloaded and installed R2 Mod Manager, then you'll have R2 Mod Manager. You can select H3VR. You can create a new profile. It can be named anything, or you can use the default profile. And once you've created this profile, you can go online and you can search for a mod. You'll search for H3 multiplayer, since it might not always be at the top. Download, download its dependency, Bepinex. And once you have this, you will need to start your game once to generate the config. Once this finishes loading, then you're good to close H3 VR and Steam VR. And now you can go to the config editor in R2 Mod Manager, search up H3 Multiplayer, and you'll see the config. I prefer to open the file instead of using H3 or R2 Mod Manager's config editor. It doesn't really work very well. In the IP field, you'll put the IP of either your server or the server of whoever you intend to connect to. Port will be left untouched unless specified otherwise by the person you're connecting to. Max client count is the maximum amount of people that can join your server if you're the one hosting. And username will be your name and game that other people see. To connect to a server, you're going to want to look at your wrist, click H3MP, and if you're hosting, click host. Or if you're joining, click join. If you are able to, the best way to host by far is port forwarding. This will allow other people to connect to you without having to download third-party software. You're going to want to start by pressing the Windows key, typing CMD, and opening Command Prompt. In Command Prompt, you're going to want to type ipconfig, and under Default Gateway, you're going to want to look at this IP here. You can copy it, and then you're going to want to go into a web browser of any form, paste it, and that should connect you to your router. Now, unfortunately, every router is different, so I couldn't give you a hard and fast rule, but generally, there will be some form of settings page and some form of port forwarding page. Once you've found your way to your specific router's port forwarding page, you may have to look it up, you're going to want to port forward the port 7861 for TCP and UDP. Next, you're going to want to find your public IP address by either looking up on Google, what is my IP? It'll be the first thing that comes up or going to what is my IP address.com. This is the IP that other people will use to connect to you. And also what we're going to use in a second here to see whether or not you've port forwarded correctly. Once you've found your public IP, you're going to want to go back to the config for H3MP like we did earlier, and you're going to want to put your IP in. Once you've done that, you're going to want to open H3 and host a multiplayer server. Now that your server is running, you're going to want to go to the site called canyouseeme.org and put in the port 7861 and your IP and check if it can see you. If it can see you, that means that your port is working and your server is now open to everyone. If it can't, then you might want to check if your ISP allows port forwarding, as some do not. If you are unable to host a server through port forwarding, then you will need to use Hamachi or a similar VPN network. You can download Hamachi by going to vpn.net, clicking download now, and keeping this file. It will always tell you it's harmful because it's a .msi, but Hamachi is well trusted and widely used. Once you've downloaded Hamachi, you're going to run the .msi that you just downloaded, click Next, agree to the terms, click Next. You can choose to create a shortcut, which I'm going to do. 
and just click install. Ignore this ad, it will always show up. You don't have to install it, nor are you installing the ad, you're just installing Hamachi. It will ask for permission, say yes. And once it's finished installing, click finish, and it will launch Hamachi for you. You're going to want to click this power on button. You're going to want to log in. And if you don't already have an account, you'll have to make one. Once you've logged in, it will ask you to create a network. You can name this whatever. Once you've created a network, once you put in the ID, you'll also put in a password. I'm going to make the password for this 1234 if anyone wants to join this network for whatever reason. And once you've created it, now all you have to do is give your friends the ID, the name you just gave it, and the password, and they can go to network join an existing network, and join it through here. Now that you've finished setting up Hamachi, you can right-click this number in the top left here to get your IP, copy it, go to R2 Mod Manager, go to the profile you created earlier, go to Configs, edit the H3MP config, and put that IP in there. That will be the IP that people use to connect to you if you are the one hosting. 